Welcome to Simplified Physics. Today we are discussing these conceptual questions. Is it possible to get uh, possible to add two vectors of unequal magnitude and get zero? And second question is: Is it possible to add three vectors of equal magnitudes and get zero? And to get a lectures on the vectors. Uh, just quick search using the phrase vectors has one simplified physics or vectors has two simplified physics let's begin the problem conceptual questions the first question is is it possible to get zero with addition of two vectors of unequal magnitudes and equal magnitudes if two vectors are unequal magnitudes it is generally impossible to obtain zero with the addition of the vector that is not possible what if they are of equal magnitude if they are of equal magnitude that means if two vectors are acting of equal magnitude acting in opposite direction or anti parallel uh, vectors results the zero if they have equal magnitudes or if one vector is negative of another vector in such condition we get zero addition of the such vectors but in case of the unequal magnitudes addition never results to zero a very simple question let's uh, go for the second one is it possible to get zero with the addition of the three vectors of equal magnitude is it possible three vectors adding three vectors of equal magnitude can we get the zero for this let's suppose a b c are two ve three vectors a b c are three vectors a b c are three vectors at, which are inclined at 120 to each other as indicated in the figure now now express the each vector in terms of the components a vector can be expressed as x component ax equals to a cos 0 degree because a vector makes angle 0 degree with x axis similarly a y equals to a sin zero, uh, theta that is a 0 degree equals to 0 and for the b vector b vector is inclined at 120 degree with the x axis so theta equals to 120 degree similarly b y equals to b sin theta 120 degree and for the c vector c cos 240 that is angle 120 plus 120 for c vector makes angle 120 with the x axis or we can take the negative of the negative in clockwise direction negative of 120, uh, 120 degree we can take but i have considered in a clockwise direction 240 let's simplify it cos 240 uh, can be written as 180 degree plus 60 degree and same way cos 180 plus 60 degree equals to minus cos 60 degree because in third quadrant cos is negative similarly sine as well negative so minus c sine theta now to get the condition is you know, it is mentioned that the magnitudes are equal vectors each vectors a b c have the equal magnitudes so a b c are equal now R, let's suppose R be the resultant of addition of the three vectors then components of the R Rx equals to Ax plus By plus C and Cx just add them and after addition we will get cos 120 equals to minus 1 by 2 cos 60 equals to 1 by 2 so add these two that we will get the E and minus E from your A A cancel 0 similarly R, R y component of the vector R replace the values sine 120 equals to root 3 by 2 cos 60 equals to sine 60 equals to root 3 by 2 120 equals to also root 3 by 2 these two cancels equals to 0 so addition of the resilient vector r equals to magnitude of r equals to rx plus ry simply gives so we can conclude that if the vectors are inclined at 120 degree then three equal vectors results the zero if the uh, three vectors are inclined at 120 degree in such condition we get the zero by addition after these vectors and don't forget to subscribe share like and comment and for, for other vectors 
at least use this phrase or this phrase for the quick average under lectures, previous lectures under vectors. Thanks for watching.